All right, and welcome to a new episode of Andy Cade. My name is Andy, as always, and today we're going to be playing a new game. This one's called Phantom Breakers Battlegrounds. And uh, I'm really, really excited to be playing this game because I played it a little bit before the, uh, the start of the show, just to kind of get myself familiar with it. So um, I'm already at uh, level 11 with my main character, Mikoto, as you'll see. And uh, it reminds me a lot of the... Uh, the old school River City Ransom from the NES days and uh, Scott Pilgrim the video game from more recent time and uh, it's just really cool man and uh, we'll get right into it so go to story mode here and I'll play as my character Mikoto keep the same character design and uh, I'm already up to uh, stage 2 of Daiba but for the, uh, the sake of this playthrough we'll just go back to uh, Stage zero, Akihabara, so you guys can see the story from the very beginning. All right, so you guys ready to roll? I know I am. I'm just gonna mint here so that way my throat doesn't dry out. And let's roll. Huh. No, I haven't actually sat down and actually like read the story. I just kind of breezed through it, to be honest with you. Shit, it's about to go down. All right. Oh my god, I love this game so much. See, I'm much like River City Ransom. You, uh, oh jeez, I, I keep forgetting about that. You have to collect all these little power ups and stuff like that, so. So it gives you like little health bonuses. And you can do stuff like that. Then use dash to kind of collect them faster before they disappear. And you can do these little projector attacks too. You can do dash attacks, you can do like a like an uppercut attack, kind of like that. Boom. Ah, jeez. You can do like these little quick combos and stuff like that. Here, I'll show you. Dang it. Dang. Oh uh, yeah. Bitch, you on fire.
Oh my god. This is freaking frack awesome, yo. <laughs> oh wait, shit. There we go. You can just like stab him and stuff like that. So, another thing I want to talk about in this little playthrough is just kind of the uh, the accuracy of the backgrounds. So this is uh, obviously modeled after Akihabara, you know, very popular neighborhood in Tokyo, Japan. Which is, you know, infamous for all of its, um, you know, as like the mecca of anime and gaming culture. So, you know, it's not, I mean, obviously for branding reasons, they can't um, make it 100% accurate. But I do have to say, as somebody who's gone to Akiva a couple times, it is definitely pretty accurate. Like you got Club Sega up there. You got a little convenience store up here. And you got this guy, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Just stab him. <laughs> then you got what looks like a Lotteria right here. And then, oh snap, overdrive! Oh my lord. Yeah man, this is just like really super, I mean, it, like I said, they can't make them, you know, have all the brand names and stuff for licensing reasons, but, you know, for, for what it is, it's pretty accurate. You know, you got little Docomo right here, up here, you got, instead of AU, it's NU. And like I said, Lotteria, you got like a little um, duty-free shop where you can pick up games and stuff like that. So yeah, this is definitely representative of Akihabara. Oh, dang it. That's the thing I hate about this game, you know. One of the very few nitpicks I have is just the ability to switch between the planes isn't quite as fast as I'd like it. That's okay. It is but a small gripe. Oh, and you got Yoshinoya up there, which is a popular Japanese fast food restaurant. So this is pretty cool, man. It's drawn like in the 8-bit style of River City Ransom, but it's it's kind of like that new old school style where it's, uh, or I mean, yeah, it's pixelated, but it has a, a deep color palette and the, you know, the frame rates aren't quite as stiff. It's a very, it's a very smooth playing game, I gotta say. Oh snap! Ooh, Snapple! It's about to go down. So you got these little projector, or not projector, but like projection attacks that you can do. So, um, there I'll show you guys. It's kind of hard to do, you know, cleanly without getting my ass kicked here. But right now I'm just doing uh, weak attacks, just like a big chain combo right here, like... Like, you can just do it like that. And you can do medium attacks like that. Oh, jeez. Okay, or you can do strong attacks like that. But, you know, if you guys have ever played Killer Instinct, it's kind of the same uh, concept. To where, yeah, weak attacks are faster than strong attacks, but they're obviously not as strong. So other things you can do is you can dash and you can uh, do like a little attack too. And then you can do like special moves like that or like that rather. Oh snap, activate overdrive. Boom. Ultra. <laughs> and then you can like go between planes. Boom. Oop, jeez. God dang it. That's freaking. Get back here! God, it's really annoying when they do that shit. They fucking jump between the planes. Uh oh, what? 
So another thing you do is a special, which you can hold it to like defend yourself. You can use it in conjunction with your attacks to do like projection attacks like that, or you can do like homing missiles like that. If you do like a strong attack. It's pretty cool. Oh, get that hambaga, hambaga. Oh, instead of, oh, that's cool. They even got the, uh, oh, dude, this is so cool. Like for somebody who's actually been to Akiba, there's a lot of little things in here. So, you have uh, Nakamuraya, which is a very famous uh, figurine store in Akihabara. Oh, oh, geez. Oh man! Okay. Oh jeez, come back. <laughs> so there's just all kinds of cool stuff in here, man. It's really cool. All right. A lot of little Easter eggs and stuff like that in the background. Oh, instead of Mr. Donuts, Master Donut. <laughs> That's cool. So Mr. Donut is like the, uh, um, like the uh, Dunkin' Donuts of Japan. Jeez, these guys aren't letting up, huh? Oh, Snapple. Humbugger. Gotta get him. Ah, yeah. Ah, snap. Ah, yeah. So you got these cool little, like, air dash attacks and stuff like that. Which I think are, like, really cool. And really helpful, especially to start off combos and and you know in order to get the uh, little power ups and pick me ups and things like that. These guys though, I fucking hate the little helo guys. Fucking hate them, dog. So you gotta like jump up in the air, do like air dashes, and oh my god, this is. God, I miss games like this, man. That that it's just it's so fucking bananas. <laughs> What's going on? All right, I gotta get this fucking guy. I get, get back here, get back, get back here, fucking ah, you fucking asshole, get back here. Ah, eh, whatever. I'll fuck these guys up. Fucking brah. Give me your shit. Give me your shit. Ah, fucking. Reminds me of like the little fucking helos from uh, the old Robocop game. There we go. Fuck y'all shit. Alright, there we go. I better go. Uh, oh, my first boss fight. Scavenger. Scavenger. Alright. Uh, get some tea here. All right, let's get it. Oh shit! Hold on. Oh yeah, and you can also. Uh... Oh shit! I never did that before. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, you little. Boom! All right, I gotta fucking defeat these little baddies. So I can fucking ah. All right. These fucking guys. Ah, Jesus. Alright. Fucking. God damn. Fuck this chick, man. I will fuck your shit up. Ah! It's like this guy's about ready to fucking. God damn it. Get the fuck. Ah! Okay. Fucking die. She wasn't this fucking hard last time I fought her. All right, here we go. Oh my god! 
fucking get the. Ultra combo. Alright. I think I'd beat her. There we go. Yes, I'm quite strong. Uh -oh. oh shit! Oh. Yeah, we beat the first stage. Congrats, guys. High five. All right. Now we're up to level 12. Hell yeah. Okay, now here you can uh, actually upgrade your skills and stuff like that. So you can re-up your attack, defense, speed, things like that. And you can also add skill points to get new moves. Like you can high jump, special attack, so on and so forth. And there's a bunch of other stuff too. too. So, um, I think what we'll do is, uh, is the high, we'll get the, uh, get the high jump here. I think it's pretty cool. There you go. All right. Like we're River City Ransom, huh? Oh shit, more baddies. Alright guys, I think uh, we'll call this one an episode, and uh, see you guys for the next level. So, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Andycade, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.